Hello and welcome to Edu Sathi's lecture on directions. What is a direction? The relative position of one point with respect to another is called a direction. For example, let me take a point here and let's take another point here. This is point A and this is point B. So the point A is towards the left of point B and the point B is towards the right of point A. So we can take any one of these points A or B as a reference point and then define the direction of the other point. Let's move on. The main directions are four, namely east, west, north and south. Symbolically, we represent them as E, W, N and S. Now, if you are sitting and you have a paper in your hand and if you draw an arrow like this facing away from you, so this is the north direction. Towards the left of the north, this is left from the north, is the west direction. Here, Diagrammatically opposite to the south, north, we have the south direction and this is the east direction. So these are the four basic directions. If you find it difficult to remember, just in your mind, if you have map of India, it looks something like this. So I know I'm not very good at making maps, but here somewhere is West Bengal. But West Bengal is actually in the east. So this is how you can remember. Cardinal directions. There are four cardinal directions which lie in between these main directions. So I'll have a cardinal direction here. Let me just change the ink color to make it more clear. So this is one cardinal direction. This is the first one. Then I have a cardinal direction here. I have a cardinal direction here and I have a cardinal direction here. Now these directions are equally distant from these main directions. So this angle would be 45 degrees. So this direction is what? Between north and east. So this direction we call it as the northeast direction. Similarly, this direction is between the north and the west. So we call it as the northwest direction this direction is between the west and the south so this is the southwest direction and this direction is between the south and the east so this is the southeast direction i have a diagram on the next slide so this would make things more clear so this is the north this is the south towards the left of the north we have the west direction and towards the right of the north here is the east direction. These are the cardinal directions. The northeast which is between the north and the east. The northwest, the southwest and the southeast. Between any two main directions the angle is 90 degrees. So between north and east the angle is 90. Similarly between east and south again the angle is 90 degrees. Between south and west again the angle is 90 degrees and similarly here between a direction north and a direction northwest this angle will always be 45 degrees so this is a basic geometry and just look at it carefully this is what we are going to do in the questions today and yes one very important thing if we move anti-clockwise, it means we are moving towards the left. So this is the anti-clockwise direction. So if I am walking towards the north in this direction and I take a turn in the anti-clockwise direction, it means I am turning this way or I am turning to my left. I am facing this way. I am facing in the way in which direction I am walking. If I take a clockwise turn, I will turn this way and take a turn to my right so turning to the right and the clockwise direction mean the same thing and the turning to the left or in the anti-clockwise direction also mean the same 
let's move on basic points to remember up till now a left turn means a 90 degree anti clockwise turn so if in a question it's mentioned that let's say ram is walking towards the north so he is walking in this direction which is the north direction and takes a left turn so at what angle will you turn him you will turn him to a 90 degree angle this is 90 degree and in the anti clockwise sense this is the anti clockwise sense so always turns are measured in 90 degree turns a right turn similarly would mean he is walking in this direction which is north direction he turns right it means he starts walking in this direction which is the east and sorry for this this is the east direction and this is again the angle is 90 degrees the sun rises from the east so the shadow would be towards the left before 12 pm now this is very important let's say i have a person here and it's 7 am in the morning so since it's 7 am the sun has already risen so which is the east direction this is the east direction so the sun will rise from here so here i have the sun this is the sun and this is the sunlight so whenever the sunlight falls on this person the shadow will always be in the opposite direction to that of the sun so the sun is in the east so the shadow will be somewhere here and this would be the shadow of the person which will be towards the west as the sun sets in the west the shadow would be towards the east after 12 pm so this entire thing will be reversed the sun will move here and this shadow it will move here at noon or at night there is no shadow so at noon as we all know the sun is right on top of the head so that is why there is no shadow let's move on let's move on to the Pythagoras theorem which we'll be using in a lot of questions here so what is the Pythagoras theorem this theorem defines the relation between the three sides of a right angled triangle and the relation is defined as under now the sides making the right angle are called the base and the perpendicular now they can int you can interchange the names this can be the perpendicular and this can be the base it does not really make a difference but the sides which is which are forming this 90 degree angle will definitely be one will be the perpendicular and the other one will be the base and the side opposite to this 90 degree angle is the hypotenuse and what is the relation hypotenuse square is equal to perpendicular square plus base square so AC square is equal to this is A and this is C AC square is equal to AB square this the height of the perpendicular plus BC square which is the height of the base it's a very normal thing but just for your revision also this AC is the smallest distance between the point A and point C so what I mean to say here is for example you are given any two points I have a point P here and I have a point Q here and you have to find out the smallest distance between point P and Q so obviously this straight line joining P and Q is the smallest distance how do you find that complete a right angle triangle draw a line parallel here and one line perpendicular to this line so I can name this as R so you have to find the smallest distance what you will do is you will find PQ square is equal to PR square plus RQ square now in the question you would be given this PR and RQ for sure okay it would be something like a person named Alan is walking walked for 10 meters in the east direction and then turned right to walk 5 meters ahead what is the distance between the final point and the initial point so here I will have PR as 10 and RQ as 5 don't worry if you didn't get this we are going to do a lot of questions on this in the coming slides so AC is also the smallest distance between the points A and C some of the Pythagoras triplets which 
you need to remember or it's better you remember are 3 4 and 5 here this is the hypotenuse always the last term will be the hypotenuse it's also the greatest 5 12 and 13 7 24 25 8 15 17 9 12 15 15 20 25 20 21 20 and this is very important for example if you have uh, three sides of the triangle and you have to find let's say AC here and this is 20 and this is 21 if you know that the Pythagoras triplet is 29 so you can simply write 29 and you can save yourself a lot of calculation and their multiples too this is very important for example I have a Pythagoras triplet here which is 3 4 and 5 if I multiply this entire triplet by any natural number let's say 2 or 3 or 10 this will also give me a Pythagoras triplet for example if I multiply by 3 this gives me a triplet as 9 comma 12 comma 15 so this is also a Pythagoras triplet so their multiples to any of their multiples to also are Pythagoras triplets if I multiply this triplet by 2 I get 30 I get 40 and 50 so this is also a Pythagoras triplet let's move further now we'll move to the types of questions asked straight away okay the first type of questions are final direction based questions here you the only thing you need to know is that I have a north direction which is here I have a south direction which is here towards the left of the north is the west direction and towards the right of the north is the east direction so in this type of questions the candidate is asked the direction one is facing with respect to the starting point or the direction of one person or thing with respect to the other for example Manish is facing east so I have a person named Manish who is facing east so he's facing in this direction he turns 100 degrees in the clockwise direction so he takes a 100 degrees turn and the clockwise direction means towards the right and he is facing somewhere here now so instead of drawing this man or person here you just draw this arrow and what you do is he takes a 100 degrees turn in this direction so he must be facing somewhere here at present and this angle is 100 degrees this was the first position and this is the second position in the clockwise direction and then 145 in the anti-clockwise direction so from here he goes in the opposite direction in this direction and takes a 145 degree turn so basically if you see he would be 45 degrees from his initial direction so this is the third direction here in what which direction is he facing now he was facing east and this is the north direction and 45 degrees between north and east as we discussed in the second slide this would be the north east direction one of the cardinal directions so what is the answer here northeast let's take another question Ram walked 10 meters towards the east so this is Ram this point is Ram and he walked towards the east for 10 meters turned right and walked another 15 meters so Ram is here and is facing this side this east side so if he takes a turn a right turn is always in the clockwise direction as we did in that slide so he took a turn and walked 15 meters now carefully see I am making this angle as 90 degrees because turns are always at 90 degrees this is what we discussed earlier also so he turned right means he turned in the clockwise direction and he walked for 15 meters then he turns left now Ram is here taking a left turn means taking a turn in the anti-clockwise direction so he takes a left turn and means he's walking in this direction again and he walks for 3 meters again he takes a left turn and walks for 6 meters so now he's walking in this direction and he takes a left turn which again means a turn in the anti-clockwise direction so this direction 
so he takes a turn and starts walking in this direction and he walks for 6 meters in which direction is he facing now as we can see he is walking straight up and this direction is the north direction so what is the answer here north this is the second type of question which is asked in this category final direction based questions let's move on a man is facing towards the west and turns through 45 degrees so first this point is a man and he's facing west it means he's face facing in this direction he turns through 45 degrees clockwise so the clockwise direction is this side he takes a 45 degree turn so this angle is 45 degrees again 180 degrees in the clockwise direction so he again turns in this direction 180 degrees nothing but exactly opposite to this direction so this angle is 180 degree as we all know that the angle at a point is 180 degree along a line segment so now he was facing in this direction the first case then this is the second and then this is the third case in the clockwise direction then he turns 270 degrees in the anti-clockwise direction now 270 degrees means Anti-clockwise direction is this direction, the opposite direction. So 180 is this, 180 would make him end up here. Another 45, I have 180 plus 45 plus 45 is equal to 270 degrees. So 180 degrees, he lands up here. Another 45, he lands up here. And another 45, I draw a line here. Another 45 degrees here. And this is his final direction. Okay. So I can draw a vertical line here for more clarity. And what is the question? In which direction is he facing now? We all know this is the west direction. This is the south direction. So the direction he is facing now is the southwest direction. So these questions are really easy. All you need to do is draw a good diagram and you should know where is north this is the north this is the east this is the south and this is the west all you need to know is this and a little bit of geometry and you're through let's move on a river flows west to east so this is the west direction and this is the east direction so river is flowing in this direction so i have river here like somewhere in this direction and on the way turns left and goes around a semicircle along a hillock so this river let's say this is a hillock so this river starts from here takes a left turn around the hillock and then again comes in the same direction so this is what is happening to the river it takes a left turn and then again comes in the same direction and then turns left at right angle so it turns now the river is flowing this way if it takes a left turn it means it's taking a turn in the anti-clockwise direction in this direction so the river abruptly changes its direction to this direction starts flowing this way in which river direction is the river finally flowing so the river is flowing in this direction which is nothing but the north direction i hope this is clear the only problem here was a hillock and it uh, goes around a semicircle so this is the semicircle it goes around let's move on okay now these are the second kind of questions that are asked which are displacement based questions if you remember in the first type what we did was we just answered that what direction a person was facing with respect to his previous direction or with respect to the first direction he was moving in but here as the word displacement tells we have to tell how far a person is from his initial point so here some conditions are mentioned 
and using the information given and concepts of geometry the candidate is required to find out the distance with respect to a particular point earlier we were only finding the direction but here we will also find the distance so for example Roy went 15 kilometers west from Joy's house so let's assume this is Joy's house and Roy went 15 kilometers west so me it means in this direction so this is 15 he then turned left and walked 20 kilometers so he took a left turn it means a turn in the anti-clockwise direction so in this direction so he walked 20 kilometers here he then turned east and walked 25 kilometers so turning east means walking in this direction so he walked in this direction and walked for 25 kilometers so this was 15 if I draw a line here so this is 15 and the remaining 10 is here so he's presently here and finally turning left turning left means again an anti-clockwise turn and covered 20 kilometers so he covered 20 kilometers so he went from here till this point because this distance is 20 kilometers so this is also 20 how far is he now from Joy's house this was Joy's house and this is where Roy is currently and what is this distance by simple geometry this is 10 kilometers so what is the answer the answer is 10 kilometers now the entire question can go wrong if you don't read this direction properly Roy went 15 kilometers west so instead of moving west if you start off with moving here taking this as west the entire question will go wrong so these kind of questions are simple but just take note of the directions let's move to the next slide James walks 10 kilometers towards the north so I have James here and he walks 10 kilometers towards the north from there he walks 6 kilometers towards the south so from here he comes back 6 kilometers so from the starting point he's just 4 kilometers away now then he walks 3 kilometers towards the east so he moves this way and walks 3 kilometers how far and in which direction is he with respect to the starting point so if I draw a triangle here this is 3 kilometers this is 4 kilometers this was a starting point so with respect to the starting point he is in this direction and which direction is this this is between the north and the east so this is the northeast direction so the first thing I note here is the answer is northeast and there is no northeast in any of the answers without actually finding out the displacement I can simply mark this even if you find out this is 3 and this is 4 this is a 90 degree this is the hypotenuse h so h square is equal to 4 square plus 3 square is equal to 16 plus 9 which is 25 so h comes out to be 5 but only with the direction I was able to find out the right answer let's move on to the next question a man leaves for his office from his house he walks towards east so this is the man and he starts walking towards the east after moving a distance of 20 meters so this is 20 meters he takes he turns south so turning south means south direction is this direction so he turns south that means in this direction and walks for 10 meters then he walks 35 meters towards the west towards the west means in this direction he walks for 35 meters so if I draw a line from here this is 20 and this remaining distance would be 15 as the total is 35 towards the west and further 5 meter towards the north 
so then he turns and he moves 5 meters here he then turns towards east and walks for 15 meters so again he is turning east which means in this direction and is walking for 15 meters which means he will come somewhere here exactly at this point now if you carefully notice this is 5 meters and this is 10 meters so he is exactly at the midpoint so this point is 5 meters from the top and this point is again 5 meters from the bottom what, dis what is the distance between his final and initial positions so he started from here he is only 5 meters towards the south from his initial position so what is the answer 5 meters let's move on another question on this a man walks 10 meters in front and 10 meters to the right then every time while turning to his left he walks 5 15 and 15 meters respectively how far is he from the starting point now he walks 10 meters in the front so you can take this direction as any direction initially let me take that he's walking in the north direction so he walks for 10 meters in this direction so he was here and he walked for 10 meters in this direction he took a 10 meter turn here towards the right so this is towards the right towards the clockwise direction this is a clockwise sense then every time while turning left he walks 5 15 and 15 meters so then he takes a left walks for 5 meters again he takes a left from this direction which is the anti-clockwise direction again and then he walks for 15 meters and from here he again takes a left turn and walks for 15 meters okay how far is he from the starting point this was 5 he went 5 so this is 5 and the remaining is 10 which is also this case which he walked in the very first place so he's actually in line with his initial point and how far is the distance this is 10 meters this is 15 simple geometry this is 5 meters so what is the answer here again it is 5 meters so just by geometry and a little sense of directions you will get the answers now I took walking in front as walking in the north you can also try it walking in the east or walking in the west or walking in the south you will get the same answer and the answer is 5 meters let's move on so there are only basically two types of questions one wherein they ask you the direction and the second kind where they ask you the displacement now we'll cover some miscellaneous types which will include both of them Ram walks 20 meters north so here is Ram and he walks towards the north for 20 meters then he turns right and walks for 30 meters so he takes a right turn a right turn is a clockwise turn and he walks for 30 meters then he turns right and walks 35 meters so again a right turn is a clockwise turn in this direction and he walks for 35 meters so if I draw a line here this is 20 and the remaining is 15 by simple geometry so it turns right and walks 35 meters this is done he then turns left and walks for 15 meters so walking left is an anti-clockwise position so from here anti-clockwise would mean this way and he walks for 15 meters then again he turns left again left means again an anti-clockwise turn and walks for 15 meters so he walks for 15 meters and he will exactly reach this point this dotted line because he walks for 15 meters after taking a left turn as mentioned in which direction and how much far is he from the original position this was his original position in which direction is he as compared to the original position he is in the 
east direction in this direction is exactly at this dotted line and how far this is 30 meters and how much is this distance this distance is 15 so he's 45 meters towards the east again only the diagram the direction and simple geometry is all we are talking about here so just three things needed and these questions are very easy let's move on Alan is facing south so in this question we given that the person is facing south he turns right and walks 20 meters so if this is Alan and he goes facing south if he makes a right turn a right turn would be in the clockwise direction it means in this way so he is now moving turns right and moves 20 meters it means he's moving in this west direction and he moves for 20 meters then he turns right again and walks 10 meters so I'll run out of space here so I'll redraw the diagram here so here was Alan he walked for 20 meters from this point he took a right turn and walked for 10 meters so right turn it means again in the clockwise sense so this is 10 meters he turns left and walks 10 meters from here it takes a left turn it means in the anti-clockwise sense so he walks in this direction for 10 meters then takes a right again and walks for 20 meters so from here he takes a right it means in the clockwise direction and he walks for 20 meters finally he turns right again and walks for 60 meters right again means again in the clockwise sense and he walks for 60 meters so this is 60 meters in which direction is he facing now and what is the distance from the start point so this was a starting point in which direction is he facing from the starting point in this direction which is this direction this is the north this is the east so this is the north east direction so I'm surely can say that this and this are the options this cannot be the answer and this cannot be answer so let us apply the Pythagoras theorem I need to find out this perpendicular distance for it because I need to find out this hypotenuse so this perpendicular distance is what I have 10 here and 20 here so this distance is 30 now he walked 20 meters here and 10 meters here so this distance is 30 this distance is 30 and total he walked 60 meters which leaves me th this distance so this distance is also 30 so what is my hypotenuse square it is 30 square plus 30 square or hypotenuse is 30 root 2 simple Pythagoras theorem and my direction was northeast so what is my answer 30 root 2 towards the northeast I hope this is clear let's take up another question so we'll practice some questions now on all the concepts we've done Rahul starting from his house goes 5 kilometers east then he turns left and goes 4 kilometers so here is Rahul's house he walks for 5 kilometers here towards the east takes a left turn in the anti-clockwise direction and he walks for 4 kilometers finally he turns to his left and goes 5 kilometers again left means again anti-clockwise direction and he goes for 5 kilometers so till here because this is also 5 so he goes for 5 kilometers how far is he from his house and in what direction so he is this was his house he is 4 kilometers away from his house and in which direction in the north direction so the answer is 4 kilometers and north direction just a practice question I think you should actually pause the video read the question and then check if your answer is correct or not for all the practice questions I am doing here 
so the next practice question pause the video look at the question try to solve it yourself if you don't get it then look at my solution suresh starting from his house goes 4 kilometers east so again this is the house he goes 4 kilometers east he then turns right and goes 3 kilometers he turns right means in the clockwise direction and walks for 3 kilometers what minimum distance should be covered by him to come back what is the minimum distance as we discussed in the Pythagoras theorem it is nothing but the hypotenuse and this is a Pythagoras triplet hypotenuse square is equal to 4 square plus 3 square so hypotenuse square is equal to 25 hypotenuse is the 5 so he should cover at least 5 kilometers and in which direction he is here he wants to reach here so the actual direction is he has to walk in this direction this is the north and this is the west so which is this direction this is the north west direction don't confuse it now in this question he had they have asked you that in which direction should he walk back and not in which direction is he currently in with respect to his house so he has to walk back the north west direction this direction for 5 kilometers let's move on one morning after sunshine Juhi while going to school met Akriti at a road crossing Akriti's shadow was exactly to the right of Juhi if they were face to face which direction was Juhi facing so the first thing you need to note here is it's a morning so morning it means that the sun would be in the east this is the east direction and this is the west direction so if Akriti is here and this is the sunshine so her shadow would definitely be somewhere not somewhere but actually in this west direction now if they are facing towards each other and Akriti shadow was right towards that of Juhi so I have two people here she is facing this way and she is facing this way and this is Juhi and Akriti's shadow should be towards the right of Juhi so Akriti's shadow should be somewhere here but we know that Akriti's shadow is towards the west for sure because in the morning the sun rises in the east so this direction is the west direction so in which direction is Juhi facing this direction has to be the south direction so what is the answer south also if you see with this diagram here this is Akriti so Juhi is facing her so Juhi is somewhere here and this is the road crossing in which they have met so this direction is the west direction and this is also towards the right of Juhi okay so this is the west direction towards the right of Juhi so Juhi is facing Akriti is facing this downward direction which is the south okay so let's move on to the next question here A, B, C, D and E are standing facing to the north in a playground as follows B is at 40 meters to the right of D so if I have D here then I have a 40 meter space and I have B A is 60 meters to the right of B so I will have A here and then I have 60 here C is at a distance of 25 meters to the west of D which is the west direction this direction so C is somewhere here and he is at a distance of 25 meters from D. E is at a distance of 90 meters to the north of A. So E is here and this is 90 meters. Which one is in the northeast of the person who is to the left of B? Now since they are facing north so everybody is facing this side. So the left of B is actually D. Who is to the northeast of D? It is E because northeast is which direction? Northeast is this is north, this is east, and this is northeast. So, this direction I have E here, so the correct option is E. Let's move on to the next question. If a boy 
starting from C met D and then moved towards B so a boy starts from C he met D moves towards B and then walks towards A and finally met E then how much total distance did he cover if he always walked in a straight line this is very simple I have 25 meters here I have 40 here I have 60 here and I have 90 here if you add them all up they add up to 215 so what is the correct answer 215 we just simply need to add because he's walking in a straight line he'll go like this and then he'll meet A and then he'll move along the vertical direction to meet E let's move on to the next question answer the following questions based on the information below there are six flats in two rows facing north and south to be allotted to six people namely P, Q, R, S, T and U. Q gets a north facing flat and is not next to S. So if I draw, let me draw six flats here. I have three flats which are facing north and three flats which are facing south. I am sorry this information does not figure out here but there should be in this question that three flats in each row. So remember this three flats in each row. So these flats are north facing and these flats are south facing. So this would be the door of this flat, this is a door of this flat, this is a door of this flat and similarly here. So they these flats face north and these flats face south. Q gets a north facing flat and is not next to S. So I'll just write here Q cross S means Q and S cannot be together. S and U get diagonally opposite flats. So diagonally opposite flats as in this flat and this flat is diagonally opposite. Similarly this flat and this flat are diagonally opposite. R which is next to U gets a south facing flat and T gets a north facing flat. So R and U get a south facing flat. So either R is here and U is here or I will have R here and U here. Any of these two are possible. T gets a north facing flat and Q also gets a north facing flat. And since U and S are diagonally opposite and U has a south facing flat, so S will definitely have a north facing flat. So if U is here, then S is here. And if U is here, then S will come up somewhere here. Now since Q and S cannot be together, so Q can only occur here. Or in this case, if S is here, Q can occur here. And since T gets a north facing flat, T will retain its position in both these cases as the center of the flat. Now we just have one person who is left out and that is P. So P is either here in this case or P is here in this case. So look at this carefully. We have two cases here and both of them are equally likely. Either this is the case, the ones I have written inside the squares or the cases are these ones. I have U, R and P here and Q, T and S here. Both these cases satisfy all the conditions. Let's look at the questions. If flats of P and T are interchanged, so P and T are interchanged. So T comes here and P comes here. So these are interchanged. Just let me change the ink color. So this is interchanging of flats. P comes here and T comes here or in this case in the outer case P will come here and T will come here then whose flat will be next to U in both these cases definitely R's flat is next to U so the answer is R let's see the next question in this set so I've already drawn what we did in the previous question this is case 1 and this is case 2 who all get the south facing flats so the south facing flats in both the cases I have U R and P 
P and here also I have P R and U so this does not change so the correct option is this C part it is very easy once you figure out the correct sequence then all these questions are just a two second game let's see the next question the flats of which other pair other than S U are opposite to each other so I have one pair this S and U whose flats are diagonally opposite and the other pair is Q and P even in this case I have S and U which are diagonally opposite and here I have P Q so I have the same answer from both the cases so definitely the answer is Q and P which is the first option here let's see the next question whose flat is between Q and S I have Q here and S here in this case 1 and T is in the middle and in this case 2 I have S here and I have Q here again T is in the middle so for sure the answer is T these kind of questions are really simple and you should definitely attempt them in your examination okay so let's move to the last set of questions here answer the following questions based on the information below A hash B means B is 1 meter to the right of A A dollar B means that B is 1 meter to the north of A A star B means that B is 1 meter to the left of A A at the rate B means that B is 1 meter to the south of A in each question the first person from the left is facing north this is an important condition let's look at the question according to X at the rate B star P P is in which direction with respect to X so I have X here who is facing north X at the rate B means I'll go to the at the rate sign it means that B is 1 meter to the south of X so B is somewhere here to the south of X and 1 meter apart now B star P I'll go to the star symbol A star B means that B is 1 meter to the left of A now B is facing this side so B's left is this direction B star P would mean that P is 1 meter to the left of B left of B means this direction so I have 1 meter and I have P here so P is here and X is here so P is in which direction with respect to X in this direction and this direction is the southwest direction this is the west this is the south so I have the southwest direction let's take another question on this according to M hashtag N dollar T T is in which direction with respect to M so M is here and he is facing north M hash N I'll go to this the first tag here means that B is 1 meter to the right of A so here N is 1 meter to the right of M so which direction is to the right of M if he is facing north this direction so I have N 1 meter to the right of M somewhere here now I have N dollar T I'll go to the second symbol here A dollar B means that B is 1 meter to the north of A so here N dollar T would mean that T is 1 meter to the north of N so T is somewhere here 1 meter to the north of N so T is in which direction with respect to M M is here and T is here so this direction is which direction it is the north east direction let's take the last question in this comprehension according to P hash R dollar A star U in which direction is U with respect to P so I have P here and he's a leftmost person so P is facing north P hash R would mean that R is 1 meter to the right of P so 1 meter and here I have R R dollar A would mean that A is 1 meter to the north of R so A is somewhere here 1 meter to the north of R and A star U would mean that U is 1 meter to the left of A so U is somewhere here 
वन मीटर टू द लेफ्ट ऑफ ए सो इन विच डायरेक्शन इज यू विद रिस्पेक्ट टू पी आई हैव पी हियर एंड यू इज हियर सो यू इज इन द नॉर्थ डायरेक्शन एज कम्पेयर टू पी सो वॉट इज द करेक्ट आंसर इट इज नॉर्थ आई होप यू एंजॉय द लेक्चर डू विजिट द वेबसाइट फॉर मोर प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन थैंक यू